What's up YouTube? Chris with Sport Tech Geeks bringing you another video. Sorry for the delay in the uploading all these videos. It's, uh, <laughs> it actually takes a lot of time to start getting motivated to do videos. Uh, as much as I want to do it, just life gets in the way and you just don't have time to do certain things. So, like I promised, we're just going to do a brief setup video for the you know, setup video and review, or my thoughts on the PlayStation Vita TV or the PlayStation TV in the U.S. Um, so, what you see here before you is the PlayStation TV bundle it came with. So basically, it just came with the PlayStation TV power brick, the HDMI cable, the sync cable to the PlayStation 3 controller, which also doubles as the power cable for the PlayStation 3 controller. And the PlayStation 3 controller that came with it. But, I already went through all that in my unboxing video, so I'm not going to go through that again. I just wanted to point out something a little different from the PlayStation Vita TV as opposed to the PlayStation 3 TV. Uh, for those who own Sony products, or PlayStation 3 or 4, blah blah blah. You notice that the uh, PS3 would turn on with this power button when the power PS3 is off. Unfortunately, these don't do it. They're still trying to figure out what's happening. Like, um, I can't turn it on. I'm not connected to anything. So, just keep that in mind. You won't be able to do that remotely. So, if you do have one and it's not happening for you, don't worry. It's not broken. That's typical. It's a small box. It's not going to do everything you wanted to do. Come on. It really should, but it didn't. But, whatever. Moving on. So, I didn't go through the whole grueling setup video for you to set up. Just follow the prompts. You know how to uh, set up an entertainment system. It's not that complicated. Follow the prompts. Sign the agreements. Well, accept the agreements. You're not really signing. But, eh, I digress. Alright, so, yeah, PlayStation Vita TV. Power brick, HDMI cable, and the sync cable for the PlayStation 3. So, when you first power on your Vita TV, you're just going to see a small LED light come on. It comes on quickly because there's no hard drives that has to spin up. It's not a lot of software that has to spin up. Uh, but uh, I'm going to pause the video just for a second, uh, and then we're going to move to the projector. Before I do that, but just like it, just like the PS3, obviously this controller is not tied to this Vita TV quite yet. So you need to plug in your PlayStation 3 controller. Mine's already synced up. I'm just going to do it for shits and giggles. Hit the button. Start blinking, then it's going to sync up. Now, now controller one. Okay, that's all you got to do. You do the same thing to the PS4 controller if you have one. But just another note before I switch to the projector uh, if you're like me and you're the only one in the house that actually games at all and you want to do your remote play, say that you have a baby in my case and wants to be in the living room watching whatever show he wants to do and I want to watch my, play my PS4 in another room, it's possible. But the reason I'm bringing that up. I only have one PS4 controller. Uh, I have no need for two of them. I don't. My wife doesn't play with me. My son's not old enough to play with me. So I just want to keep in mind that if you try to uh, do your remote play on your PlayStation TV in another room and try to use the same controller you use for your PS4, you might have a little bit of a hiccup because it's still going to want to connect to your PS4 in the living room. It's going to ask you who is using this controller. You use your name. It's going to automatically end remote play. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to get around that uh, when we get to the projector. Uh, it's just, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just uh, make sure your PS4 is in uh, sleep mode, is what they call it. Or rest mode, or whatever PlayStation calls it. Put that in there. Hook up this PS4 controller, just like you did the PS3 controller through a cable. And then hit this button, on the, the PlayStation button. It should sync up to this now. So, when you go to do your remote play on the PlayStation Vita, it'll turn on the PS4 and this will be automatically tied to your uh, PlayStation Vita TV. Uh, chances are you're probably not in the same situation I am. I'm probably one of the very few that only has one controller. I will get more, because when this battery dies, I want to be able to switch up and use the other controller. Um, so it's good to always good to have two, but right now I don't have one. So if you have two, just ignore that last minute or so I just talked to you about. If you do, if you're, if you're like me, then... There you go. I just showed you how to do it. I'll show you how to do it on the projector screen here in a minute. So I'm going to pause the video, and then it's going to look like a really fast skip for you, but it's going to take me about two minutes to set up. So, uh, hold on. Alright, and we are back. Sorry for the delay. Actually, not really a delay for you, like I said earlier. Eh, whatever. So, you open up your browser, or turn on PlayStation TV. After you do your initial setup, you're going to see this. 
Looks a lot like a Vita screen, doesn't it? Hence the name, PlayStation Vita TV. Uh, it's starting to look a lot like the Apple Watch. <laughs> Apple. Okay, so... So you have your standard power button, your browser. Don't ever use your browser on the PlayStation product, it's just terrible. Use your phone. Or your computer. PlayStation Store, we'll get to that in a minute, that needs some help. Uh, party, it's a party chat, you meet up with all your friends. Messages, friends. There's a cool thing about all your trophies. It's all the trophies you earn. PS4 link, we'll get that in a minute. Your videos, you'll see that a lot of your videos you're not going to be able to use. Netflix is not an option. I'm sure if you had videos you bought off the Sony store itself you can use. Um, but if you're hoping to use this for Netflix or Hulu or what have you, not going to happen. Uh, mainly because they probably didn't get the licensing agreement, and that's probably why it is. There's the music. It's music. I'm going to go through that. Photos, calendar's a little bit of a nifty thing. It's a calendar, you can schedule events. Something is probably better suited for your phone, your business email. But we'll skip that. Fold that down. For some odd reason, every time I close something, it wants to go to the featured section, which is freaking annoying. I'm not sure how to change that. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. But to get out of that, you just gotta go to the left and you'll find your way back. Uh, content manager. That's how you manage all your content. Parental controls. I'm not going to get into that right now. Guess what that does? That keeps you from getting your kids from playing mature games so they don't blow people up. Which is the fun part about playing. Blowing people up. Yeah, but whatever. Alright, we have the settings. We're going to the settings. And you can't just make a quick settings. You actually have to open it and start it and wait for it to load. So, it's just your quick settings. Not really quick settings, really. Uh, system update. Mine's updated. Network. You just, just a standard thing just like your PlayStation 3. But to get out of it, you need to hit the home button on your PlayStation 3 controller. Button. And then hit the circle to close the tab. Alright, well, let's get in the meat potatoes. This PlayStation now, I didn't sign up for it. I don't feel like spending a bunch of money just to tr just to play, a, stream a game from. Was it Bankai or. Nah, whatever. Their name is. I'm not gonna do that. So, I downloaded a few games. You see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That has filled up my aching memory completely. So, like I said in my unboxing, you're going to have to buy some more PlayStation Vita cards because you fill these up rather quickly. You don't have to buy them per se. You can just delete and reinstall, but reinstalling takes forever. You see here, Killzone Mercenary. This is only a 3 gigabyte download. It took me an hour and 15 minutes to download. And I am not a slouch when it comes to the PlayStation, uh, not PlayStation, to internet providers. Uh, of course, I have to use Comcast. That's what I have here. I have the highest tier they offer to me, anyways, which is 50 megabits a second, which is not slow by any means. Uh, my Wi-Fi is an AC Wi-Fi. It's really good. Um, I'm not sure what this thing has a problem with. The router is literally on the other side of this wall, so I'm not sure what its problem is. So I just want to touch base on that there. Now let's go to the. Uh, Oh, and just to let you know, if you download Killzone Mercenary and it won't start, and it gives you this ridiculous message, your application cannot be used with this system, yes it can. It's actually on a list of games that they've leased to the PlayStation Vita TV, uh, and I I have this idea that they're not going to update that that thing, that uh, list of games they use it anymore, uh, because I think Sony's going to cut their losses and, and be done with this. So basically what you have now is what you get. I don't think they're going to give you any future downloads except for maybe PlayStation Now. Um, but as to adding more lists, uh, more games to lists of being usable for this, I doubt it. And if they do, it's going to be really, really slow. So moving on. Uh, so since I can't use it, you can. So it ticks that. See that little icon on the top left I have highlighted right there? That's your, that's your update for that file. And it tells you there's a new version. Uh, you need 537 megabytes, which I don't have right now, um, so I guess I'm just going to have to wait to show you that. Um, I don't have it. See, now I have free space. I, I only have six, seven, eight games on here, and they're very small. Once, a few of them are just PlayStation Classics. They're not that big. But uh, what I really wanted this for uh, is the PlayStation uh, Remote Play. Uh, we're going to start that right now. PlayStation 4 is on the other side of the wall, connected to the internet, hardwire. My PlayStation Vita TV is a uh, Wi-Fi, uh, because I'm not really sure how you're supposed to connect two Ethernet ports on the other side of the wall without drilling a hole, but people have done it, apparently. Alright, so start up, hit next. 
It's going to look for your PlayStation 4, which you registered earlier, which is fairly easy. Just follow the prompts, and you'll figure it out. I'm sure you guys are all smart. If you can operate YouTube, we can operate PlayStation Vita TV. Alright. So, I'm already remote playing the PS4, but uh, I'm using the PS3 controller right now. The thing about this is, I have the start button, which is great now. I have the select button, which turns out to be your share video for your PlayStation 4. And unfortunately, for Far Cry, you need the touchpad to get to the maps. And if you might have noticed, <laughs> there's no touchpad for the PlayStation 3 controller. So I'm going to turn on the light real quick and hopefully I get some more light so you can see. Uh, sorry. Alright. All right, you can see it a little bit better. So what I was saying earlier uh, during the setup video, I had a little bit of a problem that if I hit uh, here's my PS4 controller, it's already tied to my PlayStation 4, and if I try to use it, hit the PlayStation button, it's going to ask me which person's using this new user or me with the zombie dog. Uh, I click me obviously because I am me, and it's going to kick me out of the remote play. See, the connection to the PS4 system has been lost. That's a problem because right now my controller is now controlling my PS4 in the room, but not remote playing to my PlayStation Vita TV. Like I said, if you have a second controller, there should not be a problem for you, but for me, it's a big problem because I do not have a second controller. So, uh, I'm going to go through here. Uh, I'm not going to show you that in the video, but I'm going to go in the other room real quick, put the PlayStation 4 in sleep mode, or rest mode, or whatever it's called, and I'm going to sync up my PlayStation 4 controller to the Vita TV just like I showed you earlier uh, so it's going to be a quick snap for you, it's going to take me about three minutes on my end so uh, just hang out, talk amongst yourselves alright guys and we're back uh, sorry it took me so long, oh wait it didn't alright, uh, well, PlayStation 4 is now in rest mode the PlayStation 4 controller is now off, you don't see the light bar right? And I have my PS4 connected to my PlayStation Vita TV behind me. And uh, since your PS4 is in rest mode, this is off. What you're going to want to do after I, uh, the last part I ended it on the uh, su suggested actions because it lost the remote play. Uh, what you want to do is go back to the home screen right here. And you're going to want to hold down the PlayStation button, okay? Hold it down. Until you see that. The control is going to turn red. You're going to see uh, controller 2 on there. Like a controller 1 is now the PlayStation 3 controller. So now you can warm up and unplug your PS4 controller. And now you remote play your PlayStation Vita TV. Alright, so let's go back to the remote play. Uh, now that I have a touch screen, I should be able to operate Far Cry 4 just like that. Keep in mind that PlayStation 4 is in rest mode right now. So if I activate PlayStation 4 remote play, or PS4 Link, I'm sorry. Uh, it's going to take a little bit. It's going to... The PS4 system screen can be displayed on this system, etc. Hit Next. It's going to turn on your PlayStation 4 in the other room. And you should be able to remote play your PS4 if you just give it a second. Uh, it's going to kick that bad boy on. And yes, I do mean bad boy. It's a badass system. I'm glad I purchased it. Alright, turning on the PS4 system. So it's telling you what it's currently doing right now. Uh, it's actually a pretty neat feature. I like it. We'll go through it. There's a little bit of a lag. Not enough to really matter, especially for me when the games that I play. I usually play single player. I'll play some online every once in a while, but eh, sometimes you just got tired of people's garbage. Yeah, someone's always got a mouth on them. But uh, it's still working on here. And uh, just bear with me. It should be done. I'll turn off the lights real quick so you can see this projector a little better. Alright, so I put in rest mode, so therefore rest mode means it's still able to download apps, I don't have to close anything. So it's telling me since I put it in sleep mode, I lost connection to the Far Cry 4 servers. And I'm just going to reconnect, so it's not that big a deal. So, continue online, and we'll go from there. Hope you can see everything, hope it's not too blurry. Uh, sorry, it's not the best projector in the world, but uh, for 180 bucks, it's not that bad. Kind of wish I went that little extra mile and picked up something a little better. But, uh, we'll do a review on that later. It's not the best error. Can't even get them anymore. I'll explain that when I do a review video on that uh, projector. 
But we're not here for that. We're here for the PlayStation 4 PS TV remote play thing. Alright. Pirate. If you haven't played Power Rank 4, I definitely recommend playing it. It's definitely available for the PlayStation 3, PS4, Xbox, Xbox One. I mean, Xbox 360, Xbox One. Not the original Xbox, because it probably works so well. Alright, so right now we are at home base in the PlayStation 4. I am using the PlayStation 4 controller. I'm turning the light back on so you can see that a little better. Sorry. And now, I have a touchpad. So I might actually be able to adjust my maps. See, there's my maps right there. Perfect. I like it a lot. So, now let's go outside where it's a little brighter. Hopefully it's not dark outside. Ah, it's bright. Nice. So, let me get out here real quick. It's about a half second delay. About, not even a half second, maybe an eighth of a second. So actually, let me get out here real quick. It's nice, bright open field. Bushes to hide in. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I want to do this video in a separate room because most of the videos you see on the PlayStation TV, they're putting the TV side by side, and you don't really see a delay comparison. Uh, in here, so most people are going to want to put this two, three, four rooms away from each other. So I didn't want to do a side by side comparison because that's just silly. You're not, you're you're they're too close together. You're not going to lose any lag. So this is what it looks like uh, in the next room. So there's the jump. There's him, and there's the X button to jump. You see, I hit the X button, let go, and then he'll jump. Let, see, button let go, jump. The button let go, jump. The button let go jump so there is a little bit of a tiny bit of lag but for first player on this is really not a big a deal hit the button go yeah see hit the forward analog stick then it starts going a second later it's not too too terrible it's not bad to get what you pay for this thing was 139 dollars retail but i only paid 100 for it for the 139 bundle because of the controller it's not bad um, so if you're gonna play a fast-paced game like Destiny, which I, I hate Destiny, I think it's a really stupid game. That's just me. Um, you're not gonna want to do remote play on your PlayStation Vita TV. It's just too much of a lag. Uh, I think the Vita, the actual Vita itself, was a little better at doing it. Um, but unfortunately, it had touchpad uh, for the L2 and R2 on the Vita, and it, it was really hard to mess with. And I don't want to mess with it. So um, uh, that pretty much ends this video. There's nothing much I can really do to it. Uh, let's see if there's something else I can show you real quick. Let's see. Oh, if you want to end the remote play, just hit the, the push in button and go back to the Vita home screen. It's not that bad. Uh, it's literally just a Vita in your room. Uh, one other thing I wanted to point out. The PlayStation Vita TV does not play all Vita games, which during my unboxing video I mentioned I really wish they should. Uh, they would. They need to. Because if they don't, this is whole. This is pointless, uh, and hopefully they'll bring up support, and some people will support it. So you know, if you want to support, you might want to go buy one, especially if you have a PS4. Um, but you know, they'll, they'll trick you into thinking that you you can download all your stuff. So if I go to the PlayStation Store real quick, um, which I must I must say this this thing really needs some help. Uh, it's it's pretty bad. It's even worse than the. Uh, the play the uh, Nintendo store eShop. Oh my god, so complicated to operate. It looks terrible. I don't like it. It's it's crap. All right, so so they give you a list of PlayStation Vita games for your PlayStation TV, which is all good and all. There's only like a 300 games. Most of them are PlayStation One and Two classics, which just defeats the point. You can't count those. You know they need to do PlayStation Vita TVs themselves. But if I go to my downloads, uh, as soon as I find them. Ah, actually, that's in the home screen. Let me go back to that. Close this. And I'm going to go to settings. It should be on my download somewhere. Alright, let me pause the video until I find it. I'll let you know. One second. I'm running out of time.